The Caribbean tourism sector and Jamaica have been plunged into mourning after the death of local business mogul Gordon Butt Stewart. Mr. Stewart passed away on Monday, January 4, 2021. He was 79 years of age. Throughout his life, Gordon Butt Stewart was a sales and marketing guru. I like sales and I ended up in sales. Yes. And I think one day led to another. And um, I think people that enjoy what they're doing, they, they end up spending a lot of time with it. Not because I don't like it, because I do like it. And, it, and then it becomes easy to spend time with it. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess because they like it, they get to understand it better. And they become probably more creative with it. And one thing, and you know, I think the human being, uh, success breeds success because you feel confident with something, so you get better with it, and it um, makes you successful in little ways, and so which builds your, your confidence. An innovator, he had the ability to digest problems and quickly come up with solutions. I end up, end up finding the solution because I guess you have to find the solution. Mm -hmm. This was evident in early 1992, when Jamaicans woke up to daily reports of the rapid slide of the Jamaican dollar against its U.S. counterpart. Mr. Stewart quickly launched a campaign to help stop the slide. His efforts led him to being described in April 1992 as a modern-day Moses inspired by God. At that time, he launched what was dubbed the Butch Stewart Save the Dollar Initiative. He announced then that he would shock the black market by pumping one million U.S. dollars a week into the official foreign exchange market below the current rates to help halt the slide of the Jamaican dollar. The initiative helped revalue the Jamaican dollar in 1992. It also cemented Mr. Stewart's place in business history and in the psyche of ordinary Jamaicans. The chance to assist the country would come again in 1994 when the Gordon Boot Stewart-led Air Jamaica Acquisition Group took a majority stake in the operations of Air Jamaica in the wake of continued financial losses. Mr. Stewart described Air Jamaica as, quote, the single most important economic weapon held by the Jamaican government and the island's single biggest ambassador, end quote. A towering figure in the information and tourism sectors, Mr. Stewart believed in the capacity of Jamaicans to make the tourism industry world class. I think, I think, Tourism is just a very natural, natural thing for Jamaica. I think the personalities of Jamaicans, of Jamaica, the, the friendliness of Jamaicans, the, the way that Jamaicans laugh, the, the, how easily Jamaicans are to animate. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they get animated so easily. And I think the more that Jamaicans realize the potency of tourism, mm -hmm. the more that the touristic habits develop and the respects develop, for a business that really will involve all Jamaicans in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, especially in the last maybe three years, those things are coming through, that it's not just a business out there. But there's no business that has been able to offer the professionalism and the training and the involvement and the whole people thing that tourism does like tourism. There's been no business so far that Jamaica has even come close to being involved in that involves people that way. And the whole social ramifications and the way that people join hands and meet friends and of different views and, and different uh, histories and countries. And it really is a, a great um, melting pot. And at the end of the day, there are the opportunities for real involvement, real training, real uh, professional growth. Mr. Stewart never met a challenge too big to overcome and he never turned away when he could help. As recently as March 2020, his company, Sandals Resorts International, offered the government of Jamaica a 52-room hotel 
and help finance 40 ventilators at a cost of $20 million to be used to treat COVID-19 patients. Gordon Butch Stewart passed away on Monday, January 4, 2021. He was 79 years of age. Prime Minister Andrew Holness noted that with his passing, Jamaica has lost a true icon and businessman of the highest order. I'm deeply saddened to learn of the passing of one of Jamaica's most brilliant, innovative, transformative business mind and a great philanthropist as well, the Honorable Gordon Butch Stewart. Butch was a man way ahead of his time. He was a pioneer in the tourism industry, but he had an eye for details and an exceptional ability to market and to deliver world-class services in any endeavor. And this was truly his distinctive mark. He was an extraordinary human being with an unwavering commitment to Jamaica and to the social good. He made a sterling contribution to national development and to regional development. I send heartfelt condolences to his family and to the thousands of workers in the Sandals Group. Uh, he is truly a great Jamaican and he will be sadly missed. Gordon Butch Stewart was a great leader with the ability to motivate and help others see and believe in a vision while offering innovative solutions to challenges. We at the PBCJ offer his family our condolences.